Hello, um, House Hunters International. My name is George. This is my wife, Cheryl. We are from Calgary, Alberta, and uh, we are looking for a vacation home, actually, in uh, Mexico. Uh, I'm originally from Ontario. I moved out here uh, six years ago, actually, and um, for uh, construction. Construction, carpentry, so on and so forth. I uh, met Cheryl uh, three years ago, actually, and we've been together ever since, actually. Um, I'm a mother of two. I have two grown sons, Trevor and Jason. Uh, they're both married. And um, I have five grandchildren, four of them are girls, and recently we had a little boy. So um, I'm a finance manager for an industrial construction company here in Calgary. And in, um, I guess shortly after George and I met, we were, <laughs> we were, um, or I was given an offer um, to take an assignment in um, as an expat in Houston, Texas. So George agreed to come along with me, which that was a pretty tough decision for him to make after we'd only been together for a very short time. And uh, so we packed up our few belongings, left our house intact in Calgary rented it out, and we took off for Houston, Texas. Yeah. So we were only supposed to be in Houston for one year, and uh, her project actually got extended. And uh, so I'm down there, because Cheryl had the visa and I did not, so I had to pick up some actual little hobbies. And a friend of mine that I met down there says, why don't you try golf? Next thing you know, I love it. I'm golfing four to five uh, times a week, between that, cycling, uh, being at the pool, being down at the beach all the time, us trying to go away every weekend uh, to another beach location. But again, the weather. We got no snow. We're not freezing our butt off. Um, just totally, totally enjoying Houston. But we knew it wasn't going to last forever. So we did start looking at um, a second home. So this is where the whole second home vacation came up. And um, we kind of just focused on Mexico because it's easy flights for us to get there. And it just kind of worked out that way. Um, your turn. Yeah, so in, um, July, in July, after we'd been in Houston for two years, um, in July, I took a different job actually and ended up coming back to Calgary. Um, back to our home, which was we just so coincidentally that our rancher was moving out to move in with his girlfriend So here our house was open again So we packed up we had two vehicles in Houston uh, One that George had driven down when we moved down and one that we purchased while we were in Houston So we had two vehicles to bring back and a tent trailer um, So yeah, so trailer trash gets on the road and we head back to from so we drove the two vehicles from Houston all the way to Calgary. Yeah. Uh, we took a week, yep. I think it was, to get to get home. Um, we saw some beautiful, beautiful countryside and had some wonderful memories on our journey back. Yeah. Um, so yeah, then coming back here to Calgary, um, we already had our uh, wedding booked because um, we just got married actually in November um, back down in the Dominican. And while we're down there, again, back to the weather, the beaches, the golfing, the snorkeling, all the stuff that we were just mentioning, we're like, oh, we definitely got to put a push on this house for Mexico because we just don't want to be dealing with these winters all the time. And even not so much all just the winters, like we, we are really beach people. We, yeah. we, we gravitate to the beach. We love it. We had a gorgeous wedding on the beach. Yeah. Um, so... Coming back, then we really focused on uh, Mexico because of, once again, the direct flights, uh, things that were just going to be easier for us to deal with. Um, and we finally found our location and we are very, very happy. Again, it's exactly where we want to be. A little bit close to tourism, but not too bad. We're not on the main strip. Um, and then we, have, we do have the pros and cons that, count, that come along with this. The pros would be, Playa del Carmen is a beautiful town. Um, our, our condo is a quick um, walk to the beach, so we timed it. It's actually seven minutes to till you're on the white, beautiful, sandy beaches of Playa del Carmen. Um, it's a 45-minute to an hour 
drive from the Cancun airport. There's direct flights from Calgary to Cancun. Uh, really? I think they're almost every day, yeah. yeah. So, um, and there's where the frustration came in a little bit is, you know, we've had to jump a plane a couple times, book last minute flights. Um, gets a little expensive booking last minute flights. Mm -hmm. So this purchasing something long distance and via email and um, jumping on a plane was a little bit difficult and a little bit frustrating and um, me being a finance manager, I, I like the control of, of uh, you know, my, my job and I seem to have lost a little bit of control in this purchase. Uh, there was things that were out of our control that we just couldn't, couldn't um, you know, control I guess. So it was a little frustrating but in, all in all the frustration was well worth it because um, we have a we're, we're the homeowners of a beautiful place in Playa Carmen. Well, Carmen, um, we've already met some new neighbors, um, and honestly, we the weather again. It's just it's what we want to do. It's where we want to retire eventually, um, and uh, we are just very, very happy. Uh, it has all totally worked out for us, pros and cons. But the weather, you can't beat the weather. Yeah, so we're so we're looking really forward happy to for the whole thing. Actually, we're it's so really looking nice. forward to sharing this with our families too. Yeah. Um, you know, what our the boys can go down with their families and enjoy some beautiful weather with their little kids around the pool or the beach. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you very much for your time, and hopefully we'll be hearing from you. Cheers. Cheers. Okay. <laughs>